My name is Yinka Oyedele. I'm here to introduce Dr. Injakiri Damages. Welcome to the show. My name is Dr. Damages. We are coming to you from the greatest city in the world. New York City! Yes, 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 yes. New York City is so great that despite the video threats from ISIS uh -huh. to attack New York City, uh -huh. we will not be intimidated. Of course not. Uh -huh. Tell them. The people of New York City will not be intimidated. We understand it is the goal of terrorists to intimidate and disrupt our democratic society. We will not submit to their wishes. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Please ig 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 ignore those heavily armed police officers behind our mayor. They are just, they are just there for sure. You know, we won't be intimidated. Do you know why? Tell them the mayor. Tell them. So the people of New York City can rest assured that extraordinary efforts are being made every single day to keep them safe. And this is the finest police force in this nation for 14 years since 9 11. Hey, Mr. yes, yes, yes. Hey. We have the finest police force in the world, hey. the NYPD. Of course. If they whoop the behind of my homeboys, uh -huh. imagine what they will do to ISIS. Imagine, imagine what they will do to ISIS. Hey. But, but it doesn't end there. We New Yorkers have a role to play in our own security. Every resident of the city can help the NYPD. We have a phrase, if you see something, say something, that phrase is very meaningful. Hey! <laughs> you see, you see? Wow. If you see something, say something. Say something, my dear. That's the thing. Sambu Dasuki saw something and he said nothing. Hey! The Ziani Alison Madeke saw something and she hey. said nothing. Jonathan saw nothing and did nothing. <laughs> but but I, I digress. I digress. That's not what I'm Woo! talking about. Now, as you know, last week, we saw ISIS in Paris. Uh -huh. ISIS attacked Paris. The world wept with Paris. Hey, uh... Prayed for Paris. Hmm. Even some people changed the color of their underwears to the color of the flag of France. Doctor, I, I, know, I know people that did that. I know people that did that. I know people that did that. But moments after, some party poopers started to complain. Mm -hmm. They are say, started saying, uh, when it happened in Lebanon, nobody changed their oh, Facebook boy. profile to the flag of Lebanon. Uh -huh. When Al Shabaab attacked Kenya, nobody turned their Instagram oh, page boy. to Safari photo boot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, and that when Boko Haram attacks Nigeria, uh -huh. nobody sends money to that internet-based uh -huh. Nigerian prince. You remember that one? Uh -huh. The one that the father, the, the father died. That, that prince that the father died and left millions of uh, dollars that he would need help to transfer abroad. You know, <laughs> you know, that prince charming. Anyway, most complaints were coming from Africans. Ah. Africans. I say, shut up. Doctor, what? Shut up. Yeah. Oh, no, yeah. No, no, you no, say, no. they said, they said, oh, oh, they don't care about us. No. <laughs> you just noticed that? <laughs> 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 what was it that Michael Jackson was saying? Oh, I wanna say that. All I wanna say now, they don't really care about us. <laughs> it was long ago. It's nothing new. The question is, what are you doing to show that you care about yourself? People care about Paris because they've been there. How many people have visited you in Meduguri, in Edoret, in Sidon? How many people? How many people across the world come to your country for honeymoon? or to buy weed, <laughs> or to play with your boys and girls, you know? Or you think we don't know why they go to Mombasa. We know, we know. That is how caring starts. <laughs> now, now, 83 million people visit France every year. Paris, 33 million people visit every year. Now, how can you not feel sorry for a place where you propose to your wife and she said yes? A place your boyfriend bought you that uh, diamond ring uh, as a way of saying uh, sorry for messing up. How can you not feel sorry for that place if something bad happens there? Listen, listen, Africans, you cannot blackmail the world to care about places they have never been, people they've never met, and most importantly, people that have not shown any sign that they care about themselves before they desire care from others. You cannot do that. <laughs> now, here is a pianist playing John Lennon's song, Imagine, on the street of Paris to reporters who are covering the Paris attack. Watch.
imagine there's no heaven It's easy if you try No hell below us Above us only sky Imagine all the people Living in for today Ah Imagine there is no heaven hey. It's easy if you try hey. No hell below us mm. ah. Above us only sky hey. Imagine hey. all the people Living for today. Deep, deep, deep. Imagine there is no countries. Hey. It isn't hard to do. Uh. Nothing to kill or die for. Yes. And no religion too. Wow. Imagine all the people living life in peace. Wow. You may say I'm a dreamer, mm. but I'm not the only one. one day. Yes, I hope someday you will join us. One day. Yes, and the world will be as one. Hey. Wow. Woo. Touching. That's deep. Touching. That's deep. Meanwhile, meanwhile, the Islamic State, they have threatened to attack Washington, D.C. Ah. <laughs> I know, I know, yeah, I know. Yeah. They are lucky that a, Repub a Republican is, is not the president of America today. <laughs> <laughs> Did I say they? No, no, I mean, I mean, we are lucky that a Republican is not the president of the United States. You know what he will have done? He will have sent the children of ch children of poor Americans. He will have sent them to Syria to die. Like this Republican. Refugees are pouring into our great country from Syria. We don't even know who they are. They could be ISIS. They could be anybody. What's our president doing? Is he insane? <laughs> I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. When it comes to Donald Trump, there is no question about whether he is sane or not. We all know the answer. In fact, it's not only Republicans that are losing their minds. Even journalists are also losing their minds. Here is a CNN reporter asking Obama a question. Watch. It has the backing of nearly every other country in the world when it comes to taking on ISIS. And I, I guess the question is, and if you'll forgive the language, is why can't we take out these bastards? Well, Jim, I just, I just spent uh, the last three questions answering that very question. Wow. He said, why not take out those bastards? <laughs> this is a reporter. You know, I know journalism schools in America, they are not what they used to be. Yes. They are not what they used to be. Yes, but as usual, it is not always hopeless. Mm. Now, here is a father in Paris explaining to his son the tragedy of the Paris attack. Mm. Watch. Isn't that so cute? Mm. The man said to the son, the flowers will protect us. Now, I tell you, I tell you, <laughs> it's not just all bad news all across the world. In Sierra Leone, they are saying goodbye to Ebola. Goodbye. Tomato Joss, is that not your country? Yeah. <laughs> and just like, just like good Africans, West Africans, they did that in songs. Yes, doctors, wow. nurses, and policemen, they broke into songs. Watch. And we should still practice what we're told. For example, hand washing and, you know, the sorts, you know, that we should not forget those basics because they help. <laughs> Woo, they are so happy. Wow. Now, now, in Nigeria, mm -hmm. despite the change. Mm -hmm. Now, by the way, at what point do we now describe that change as um, so-called change? Are we there yet? When we call it so-called change. Doctor. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Anyway, anyway, despite the change. Anyway, despite the change, there is still no goodbye to corruption. And there are no flowers to protect us. Yes. The courts are as useless as the politicians. Oh, yeah. <laughs> are the, as the politicians in the two arms of government. Yes. Now here are some corruption stories of the week in Nigeria. <laughs> Now, it was revealed that the former national security advisor to President Jonathan, mm -hmm. Sambo Dasuki, mm -hmm. awarded a $333 yes, billion yes. B, with a B, fake mm. arms contract. Yes. Now, now, the panel that looked into that submission, 
they reported it to President Buhari. And he immediately ordered the arrest of Dasuke. Hey. <laughs> By the way, don't get confused. This panel is different from the panel that indicted uh, Rotimi Amaichi hey. just before he was made a super minister. Hey. Do you get it? <laughs> there are two different panels, you know, yes. two totally different. No. As I was saying, Dasuke had been under house arrest for a while now. Yes. He has been pleading with one court after another, trying to <laughs> compel the federal government to let him travel abroad yes. for medical treatment. You're right. Of course, of course. That's you know, you know our DSS, eh? They are above the law. You're right. They don't abide by any court ruling. That's true. Even if the court is saying that they should be paid more money, they won't abide by that. <laughs> no, we don't trust. <laughs> now, I tell you, I tell you, not even a freaking fake illness hey. can help this Dasuki hey. out of this case. He You're can't right. fizzle <laughs> out of it. No, no. We shall no. see. If not for anything, for the souls of all the soldiers mm. and Nigerians killed by Boko Haram mm. while he was playing lottery with our money meant for buying arms. Uh -huh. Imagine, the man had the audacity to what? say that it wasn't his job to make sure that the arms he signed the check for arrived in Nigeria. Are you kidding me? Imagine the audacity. What? Wow. Also this week, the Independent Corruption Practice Commission, mm. ICPC, Yes. This is big for nothing net item. Uh -huh. you know? They discovered 292 million naira in a retired permanent secretary's account. What? Oh yeah, people are screaming. They are saying that is a lie. That's not, that's they are saying true. that they, they are saying that the ICPC should look deeper yes. because there must be more money than that. <laughs> <laughs> mind you, mind you, this permanent secretary, no, no. this no, this permanent secretary has never signed a check. Yes? Or ever received any bribe. Like who? You like wonder, who? you wonder, yeah, I wonder. <laughs> now, now, to top the indignity splashed on the face of Nigerians, mm -hmm. Senate President Bukola Saraki yes, had the audacity to urge banks to support the war against corruption. Yes. Now, now, this former director mm -hmm. of that liquidated uh, societal general bank. Yes. A, a man facing corruption charges at the oh. Code of Conduct Tribunal uh -huh. said this. I tell you, I tell you, having the name Saraki in a sentence yes. <laughs> with um, bank corruption <laughs> war, it's, no. it's like playing Scrabble with no, the brain, no. brain cells of Nigerians. That's what I think. That's what I think. He's just playing Scrabble with the brain cells of Nigerians, confusing us. Meanwhile, meanwhile, fuel scarcity continues in Nigeria. Mm. Yes, so. Now, somehow, this government has no clue that if there is a make or break issue mm -hmm. in governance in Nigeria, it mm -hmm. is about fuel. Yes. Watch. That any station that has a product and it's been, and people are hoarding, they should sell all the products for free to customers who are out there and we're going to impose very serious penalties on that same station. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's uh, Kachuku, the Minister for States for Petroleum. Hmm. He, he also told people that they should stop panic buying. That there is fuel in the country. Right, I say, true. yeah, right, yeah, right. Go and tell it to the goats. <laughs> yeah. If if fuel is not scarce, then prove it. Yes. Get prove into it. The, get into the filling station. You're right. No, be so. That's it. Now this is exactly the same thing that the government did when the allegation came up that the presidency spent six billion naira servicing ten private jets under the presidential fleet. In six months, six billion naira. What? What did the government say? They said, oh, no, 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 it wasn't, it wasn't six billion, it was only two billion. <laughs> I'm like, this change, Holy. self, this change, self. Ah, Why do they need 10 jets under the presidency? Why? Hmm. Now, how did the French say it? Uh, ah. No, 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 that's what the French said. They said that the more things change, the more they remain the same. Right. I have to translate it for people like you who don't speak French. Now. Now, a, an update on the Biafran issue. Mm -hmm. So the DSS was expected to bring Namde Kanu to court last Wednesday. Uh -huh. But he was no show. He was no show. The DSS did not bring him to court and they did not provide any explanation. Why? Why? The magistrate court now rescheduled the trial again for mm -hmm. November 23rd. Mm -hmm. You see, Nigeria is so messed up that in an agency of a democratic government, yes. did not even bother to give anybody an explanation. Hey. That's, not, that's not right. No, no. They, they said that, they said what? They said that they did not have Nande Kano in their custody? What? I didn't it know that. Lie. Really? In that case, in that case, they're essentially giving Nigerians the middle finger. Which, <laughs> which, yeah, that's, that's, oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, they finally said something. 
<laughs> they said that another court ordered his continuing detention. <laughs> Are you, see, you kidding see, me? I think, I think what has been clear from the very beginning is that the government must be open with the people on right. this matter and every other matter. Right. Eh? Be it Kanu, be it Sambo Dasuke. The federal government must be transparent and obey the courts. Justice otherwise, delay. Otherwise, it will be anarchy. Yes, yeah, justice delay. Let me tell you, let me tell you. Yeah, justice delay is justice denied. Yes. Now, for those who look too long into the abyss, they become the abyss. Hmm. That's for you, for the mm -hmm. federal government. I'm just, I'm just passing free advice. Woo! Meanwhile, meanwhile, the protest continues. Yes. Supporters of Biafra are now saying that it is no longer a protest. Uh -huh. They are saying that it has become a revolution. Oh. <laughs> and, hey. and I wonder where, where did these Biafrans pick that up? I, I I'm sure this is not, this is not a Biafran thing. I, I had, I I've had it, I had it before. I um, it, it, from a Nigerian. Mm -hmm. um, not just a regular Nigerian. Um, it's one of those Nigerians that Biafrans don't really like. Who was that again? Who? Um, oh. Hey! TB Joshua. Ah. TB Joshua. Watch. At the beginning of that protest, I call it beginning because at the beginning of every revolution, it looked like protest. It might be stopped at the beginning. Eventually, it will become so big that it cannot be stopped. This I see happen. Wow. You see, wow. see, TB Joshua saw the Biafran protest as far back as 2013. Oh. The, man, the man saw it. Mm. Now, now, <laughs> but never mind when he saw it. Eh? Did the man of God say that it could be stopped? Watch him again, watch him again. It might be stopped at the beginning. Eventually, it will become so big. That it could be stopped? Hey, hey, wow. uh, Prophet, Prophet TB Joshua, mind yourself. Oh, eh? Stop Take giving, stop giving the military ideas. Mm -hmm. Anyway, anyway. So, what is the solution, Mr. Prophet? What is the solution? Tell us. Nigeria. Pray. Ah, you had it. He said you should pray. Hmm. The man of God said Nigerians, Nigeria should pray. It's always prayer. Why are you looking at me like this? Eh? <laughs> are you doubting the man of God? Is yeah. that is that what? You're... Okay, watch him. I have said it. None of this will go without being what? Read about me and my track record. This is the voice of God. You see, case closed. Mm -hmm. He said, type my name in the internet. You're right. And you will believe. You're right. <laughs> anyway, meanwhile, no, meanwhile, not exactly. Meanwhile, the elites in the eastern part of Nigeria are still in a stalemate mm -hmm. as to how do they proceed with this uh, Biafran protest. What? Sorry, sorry, I mean revolution. Ah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. So in Anambra State, mm -hmm. instead of dealing with the matter, uh -huh. the governor, Mr. Obiano, uh -huh. now this man is the, the one that has been working on um, three critical products for the state. You know, for three uh, critical products, rice, base, <coughs> rice, base, and uh, Rice, beans, and uh, uh -huh. um, what are they again? Um, um, rice, beans, and um, um, uh -huh. rice, beans, and um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. now this man always reminds me of another politician. Who was that politician again? Um, it's three agencies of government when I get there that are gone commerce, education. And the, um, uh, what's the third one there? Let's see. <laughs> oops, oops. <laughs> oops, I know, I know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The governor of Anambra State is having another oops moment. Mm -hmm. Well, the man while searching for the third critical product mm -hmm. has opened a new front. Mm -hmm. This time, the man who had picked him as governor, yes. uh, former governor Peter Obi, Yes. He's fighting Peter Obi. Oh. The issue, father. yeah, the issue is that Peter Obi said he left seventy-five billion huh. at the end of his tenure in office. And what wow. happened to it? Two years after, Obiano <laughs> <laughs> now <laughs> discovered that the former governor did not leave seventy-five wow. billion. Instead, Obi Obi Obiano, Obi of course, Obiano is saying that the governor left nothing but debts. Huh. He said it's even up to hundred billion. What? I said these are a bunch of entertainers. <laughs> yes, these are not. They are entertainers. 
Yeah, the politician. Now, in entertainment news, Charlie Sheen hmm. is the new face of HIV. Yes, yeah, so, yes, yeah, so. The Hollywood actor hmm. this week admitted that he's HIV positive. I yes, yes. Him. I know. Um, I'm here to, to admit that I am, in fact, uh, HIV positive. So, I know. So. Now, the last time something like this happened hmm. was on November 7th. 1991, wow. when Magic Johnson yes, yes. admitted that he was HIV positive. Wow. Because of the, the HIV virus that I have attained, uh, I will have to retire from the Lakers uh, today. Wow. Yeah, Ma Magic Johnson said something else on that day. Watch him. I plan on going on, living for a long time, bugging you guys like I've always have. So you'll see me around. I plan on being with the Lakers in the league. Hopefully, David will have me for a while. Wow. Yeah. Now, 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 Magic Johnson and Charlie Sheen are two different people. Of course. One planned on being around and bugging you all the time. The other one planned to be um, Desi and Alice in Madeke. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Look at, look at, look at it. This is what will happen. Transfer. Lord of mercy. This is a segment we call Secrets of Nature. It's based on the premise that a picture is worth more than a thousand words. Yes. Yeah. The picture you're looking at is that of the former Minister of Petroleum, yes. Mrs. Desiane Alison Madeke, uh -huh. in London, where she is getting treatment for cancer. Mm. Mm. It was during an interview with Dele Momodu mm. that this picture was taken. In the interview, she denied stealing any money from Nigeria. Yes, yeah, so she looks... I'm, I'm like, does it really matter anymore at this time? <laughs> no, 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 look, look at her, look at her. Compare it to the dashing picture of her for herself when mm. she was minister. Mm -hmm. put, put them side by side. Is coming back now, anyway. now, there is a reason why the good book said vanity is vanity. Yes, yeah, so... The question for her and for all of us is this. If she had seen this picture five years ago, mm -hmm. the manifestation of a place that she was going to, mm -hmm. would she have lived the kind of life she lived? Yes. That is a question for her. That's true. Ask, That's yourself, ask yourself the same question. That's deep. Yes. Life is such a mystery that sometimes it forces us to show sympathy mm -hmm. to those who least deserved it. Right, mm -hmm. right, that, right. That's right. the secret of yes. that picture. Yes. Yes. It's yes. deep, yeah? It's deep. That's it, doctor. <laughs> Now, headlines. Harrison's story is making headline news across Nigeria this week. Atiku will be the next president of Nigeria in 2019, says a prophet. It is dream. It is dream. I know, I know. I know. You know, you know, these days, prophets are like a dozen for 50 cents. <laughs> But, 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 but anyone who attends this prophet's church uh -huh. has him or herself to blame yeah. for predicting that Atiku will be president. Uh -huh. Even in his next lifetime, I don't think that will happen. Yes, yeah, so his time has gone. <laughs> Dasuki releases breakdown of arms purchased by his office. Mm -hmm. And he says, Nigerians will hear a lot. Mm. I said, that's but great. Now, that is what I expect him to sit his butt down at home yes. in Nigeria and defend himself. You're right. Not trying to find a way to, to run away from yes. Nigeria. If you have something to say, mm. stay there and defend yourself. Yes, ma'am. Nonsense. Nonsense. Boko Haram spends 2 billion naira every year mm -hmm. to sponsor attacks, says the UN, United oh. Nations. Where did I get this? Exactly. My question is this. What else does the UN know? Uh -huh. And when are they going to tell us? Uh -huh. I mean, if they know what how they calculated how much money, what, what do they know? <laughs> what do they know that we don't know? Ah, terrible. Nigerians shouldn't be begging, says Buhari. You're right. <laughs> well, 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 the thing is this. this is the, it's, it's not when one man signs no check, another man takes no bribe, uh -huh. and yet $3 billion dollars. Mm. Meant to purchase arms Billion. was spent hey. on Christmas knockouts. That's that's what they spend the money on. Hey. Eh? The people are telling us nobody signed any check, uh -huh. nobody, I don't give any bra yet three billion dollars. What for Christmas knockouts? What nonsense? That's nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> Governors to Buhari 
we must diversify our economy. Mm. I say, wow, wow, what a fresh idea from these geniuses. <laughs> this is a, a brand new idea. Genius idea. That if only Buhari can permit them to do it, you know, <laughs> they will run with it. If only Buhari can... Are they not executive governors? <laughs> if only Buhari can permit them to... <laughs> they are diversifying their pockets. <laughs> diversifying nonsense. You, no. you just heard about it today. The three main reasons Jonathan lost the 2015 election by Doyin Okube. You know Doyin Okube? He, he, he pointed out in an article three main reasons mm -hmm. why Jonathan lost. Number one is Ruben Abbott. <laughs> Number two is Femi Fani Kayode. And the number three is Doyin Okube. <laughs> I didn't, he wrote it. He wrote what? it. I'm not the one. <laughs> Doctor. He just told us. Anyway, Fashola, Amechi, and other ministers to earn 485 million naira every what? year. What? I say sure. Super minister. 485 million. Mm -hmm. These guys already earn much more than that from their yeah, retirement package. Their retirement package, the one they gave themselves as governors. Uh, go, and, go and check it. They, yes, they, they make more than that. Why are they still what? collecting money? You're right. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Governor Oshimole, mm -hmm. the biggest thief in Bini City, hey! says former governor in Winedo. Uh -huh. I believe governor in Winedo. Uh -huh. He should know he used to be the biggest thief in Bini City uh -huh. before, before he handed it over to. No, no. <laughs> Before he, had, he handed it to us, he should know. The, the, the team, they know where they meet. They know where they meet. 18.7 billion naira. Benue State teachers' salaries paid into an unknown account. <laughs> they just they just pay the money into an I said Father Christmas wo Father Christmas works in mysterious ways. Do you, do you know? Imagine this if this is this money went to the account of Boko Haram. Uh -huh. They'll be like, ah! Uh -huh. <laughs> can they can they Don't go down it? how can they come out and say who 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 authorized the money to go to unknown unknown account? Uh -huh. They smoke it, Kai Kai. <laughs> Ibo. Ibo. <laughs> I started robbing when I was seven years. What? Says I suspect. No, 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 no. This what? one, this one, he said he was started at seven. This one is easy Are to you handle. Kidding me? It's, it's, very, really it's not an it's not a difficult case to handle. All that they need to do is to call the guy and say, look, my man, my man, you've reached retirement age. <laughs> I mean, he started at seven. He's, <laughs> he's, 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 <laughs> he, he'll pay you pension and gratuity. <laughs> wow. No, from the streets. Wow. Hi everyone, I'm back again. It's me, Perinko. Remember that name? Anyway, Zingas is my thing, so here we go. Here are some of the best entries we received this week. Ernest Nadiuku, Niger no they carry last because no be only us waka come. Eh? From Abikoye, Samson. Niger no they carry last because even last they fear us. Ha! <laughs> Anthony Okosa. Niger no they carry last because we are always first from behind. Ah, uh -uh, not fair. Joseph Ogunye B. Niger no they carry last. Now we smart pass. Eh, uh -huh. Fatai Adeyemu. Niger no they carry last because it is handicap. Ah, uh -uh, but why? Abdullahi Ibrahim. Niger no they carry last because only two countries they Africa, Nigeria and others. From Olale Kon Olainka. Niger no they carry last. Well, why Niger no they carry last? Because now we smart pass. Eh, I smart well, well. I did Sunji, I did Bayo. Niger no they carry last because we they always carry first from back. Okay, oh, hmm, God forbid. Chia Gozi Ezike. Niger no they carry last because it is not our portion. Eh, oh, better have you seen. Nigeria no they carry last because she's last already in everything. God help Nigeria. This week, the winner of a copy of Pius Adesomi's book, Niger No De Carry Last, is Chia Gozie. Congratulations. Keep sending your zingers to drdamages at gmail.com with the subject Niger No De Carry Last. Peace out. <laughs> <laughs> It's time for your email. Yeah. Tomato Joss is back. Uh -huh. Which means you are fully back. Is that, is that what you're Live saying? And yeah. Yeah, is that what you're saying? You beat all of them. You Live defeated all direct. the competitors. All right. So do we have emails today? Of course, doctor. Okay, let's hear them. Okay, our first email is from Abdul Razak. Hey, uh -huh. Abdul, from where? 
He doesn't I know, sell. I know. He's, he's I in think hiding. He's, he's, he's from Ghana. I think so. Go yeah. Ahead. Yeah, he's my okay. friend. Mm -hmm. He said, Dr. Damages, I'm a regular listener to your show. I don't miss it. Wow. Even though I sometimes don't agree with everything you say. Ah. I don't have to, anyway. Ooh. On episode 207, mm -hmm. where you praise Nigeria under 17 for winning the cup for the fifth time, mm -hmm. you decided to compare them with Ghana. Mm, um, maybe you're right. He Ghana. is from Ghana. Oh, okay. He said, if I should remind you uh -uh. and your many countrymen uh -uh. who have chosen to compare or badmouth Ghana at uh -uh. every instance uh -uh. without provocation, Why is Charlie your public. <laughs> Charlie, Charlie. Like, you see, that's your doctor. Charlie, yeah. He said, your population is over 170 million. It's mm -hmm. 82 now. Yeah, and Charlie, it's counting. 82, 82 mm -hmm. upgrade. Mm -hmm. 182 mm -hmm. million. Yeah. He said, as against Ghana's 25 million. Really? Nigeria is an oil-rich nation. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Ghana has just begun to develop her oil industry. Mm -hmm. It beats my mind, therefore, that any time a Nigerian opened their mouth, uh -uh. The next country to attack is Ghana. Sometimes they use the word common Ghana. Um, what has Ghana done to you people? Uh, uh, is it her fault that she attained independence before Nigeria? Is, mm. is, that, is that true? Is oh, it yeah, Ghana's fault that your leaders over the years are not able to manage your country? Uh, what? This guy is, mm -hmm. is that not shared? What do you call it now? Mm -hmm. Trunch, By the way, we shared. <laughs> He's yep, that's it. Trunch. You learn something I'm new. Learning something. Hey, hey. I'm talking like young people. Hey. Go ahead, go ahead. He said, which has caused most of your businesses to relocate to Ghana. What? And your children abandon your, your over a hundred universities there. Uh -uh. About to go and take over Ghana's universities. <laughs> hey. What at all is wow. your problem wow. with Ghana? Wow. He's, I hope someone can tell me. He's telling me that, okay? Um, um, <laughs> my friend, my friend, shame, mad, oh. shame on me. He's mad. Mm -hmm. And shame on Nigerians. Mm -hmm. And shame on Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Yes. You know, I tell you, I tell you, no there shame is on me. nothing romantic about beating up a junior brother. <laughs> Doctor! It, it's, no, especially those Doctor. who happen, especially those who happen <laughs> to be um, smarter than you are. Mm. Yes. Yes. Isn't that what they call bullying? <laughs> My, my, my man, that's what we're doing. We're just trying to bully Ghana. And, mm. and by the way, we have a Ghanaian who was in the audience of that course. day. Yes, yes. So we wanted to make him Voice. feel bad. <laughs> that's it. But don't worry, don't worry. You are our junior brother. We, we, we're just messing around. You know? yeah. <laughs> that's it. You're we're still, ashamed. The man no, just wrote an no. email yeah. telling you about how he feels. Ghana is junior to Nigeria. We are still Nigeria doing now. the same thing. You see? Mm -hmm. This is, fact, people, fact, oh, Abdul Razak, this is your people. This is your people. I know, I know. But but by the way, we are sending money to Ghana. Do you know how much money, billions, I that our know. students pay to Ghanaian universities? Uh -huh. So you should be uh -huh. thanking us more than what you make from oil. They are owing us. Charlie. They are owing us. And you are owing us. And by the way, we supply <laughs> power to you. Who is this in the audience? Yeah, no, it's true. Ah. It's talking point. We are sending power to electricity. Yes. We don't even have enough. We send to Ghana. We give them their We life. lend money to you. Mm. You you don't pay back. Yes. Say thank you. <laughs> At least. Ghana, I'm with Next. you. Don't follow these people. Niger. <laughs> anyway, our second email is from Nana Okori. Mm. Father, father Ooh. from Dakar, Senegal. I, you remember him? Yeah, I remember mm -hmm. him. Yeah. I remember that name mm. very well. Is it yeah. morning, he writes. <laughs> is he listening? <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. He said, my able doctor, mm. for some time now, your sushi and her co refused to read my email. What? But I'm glad my one and only TJ is back. Ah. That, by the way, doctor, sometimes I told you to refer, recommend, or diagnose PMB and his security thieves uh -huh. over Boko Haram spreading like wildfire. What? They are now running to Dakar, Senegal, pretending to be new in town, cutting nails and selling bitter cola. Uh -huh. wow. I still extending attack to Paris. It's mm. a good example of Boko Haram to Cameroon and Niger. Uh -huh. Come, um, Chad. Chad. Wow. I know you are afraid of analyzing the attack in Paris uh -uh. because you have been warned not to speak with your mouth open uh -uh. and about Muslims and their beliefs. Uh -uh. The attack is an act of cowardice. Is he talking to me? Uh-huh. And ignorance in the highest order. Wow. See you in heaven, doctor. Uh, what, what's his name again? Father, Father. Mm -hmm. Oloshi. He's Oloshi. See something. you in heaven, no. not me. Mm. You, 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 you go there first. <laughs> me, I'll go to heaven. When you're uh. ready, go. I didn't come here with you. So you go. <laughs> Nonsense. Mm. Next time, 
won the manor. Next. That's an Igbo father. Uh, father, father. Oh, I forget. <laughs> He yeah. said he missed me so much. He hope I don't go away. No wonder he will, this email was right. Yeah, my right. friend. Father, father. <laughs> no wonder this email was right. If it was when uh, we had sushi mm-hmm. eh? and the periwinkle, uh-huh. nothing. Hey. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> He's throwing shade. Next. Anyway, our third email is from Abdul Mumina. Mm. A man from Kuala Lumpur, ah, that's Malaysia. our friend. Yeah, that's our mm-hmm. friend. Yeah. Yes, yes. He writes, mm-hmm. Doctor. Yes. Do you know that Nigeria is under hostage or she or siege by D men? D men. Okay. Mm-hmm. I, I don't. By know. that he mean Dasuki. Uh huh. Diziani. Mm-hmm. Oh. The devil. Uh-huh. <laughs> Dino. Uh-huh. What? Dame. Uh huh. Enjoying. Oh. Going of the He said, Dear Sango, can mm-hmm. you still strike? What? Kindly wake up and do your job. Hey. Don't be lazy to strike. What? The grave is hungry. Hey. That's all. Ah. <laughs> ah. I'm, I'm scared of Shango and Amadioha <laughs> and whatever god uh, Asari Dokobo uh, worships. Not saying you know? anything. But I'm more scared of this, your proposal. Hmm. Because D is for damages. Hey. So are you, are you putting damages on that list? Hmm. <laughs> hmm. My friend, explain I'm to me. I'm not saying you, anything. Like are I you said. saying that Nigeria is under siege by. Damages too. Uh-huh. On the- hmm. Mind yourself. Bro. Mind yourself. Mm. You have a anyway, point. That's all the time we have for emails. Uh, please keep sending your emails to drdamages at gmail. And follow us on Twitter at Dr. Damages. Now, here is my concern for today. It's mm-hmm. taken from page 419 of the book See Paris and Die wow. by Vivian Green. Hmm. And it says, Life isn't about waiting for the storm to pass. Hmm. It's about learning to dance in the rain. Wow. Uh, that's it. Yeah, yeah. That's good. Learn to dance in the rain. Ra- dance in the rain. Dance in the rain. Yeah. Now, until next week. Now, next week is Thanksgiving in America. Mm-hmm. So we'll give you some package yeah, show. Something package turkey. show. Hey. We won't be here live. But until next week, I'm Dr. Damages. I diagnose. You hear yourself. Woo-hoo. Are you ready for December 11th for the show, the big show? Yes. Doctor Damages and keeping it real. Are you ready? Yes. You, ready? you Class are. Of the time you time. are. You are. Are you going to be there? I saw your name, Tomato Joss. It be are you ready? Class of the time time. Talk is to the them. Check gonna what be there? Eh? Is who <laughs> going to be there? Who? The check. Is my gonna be no, 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 no. See, when you get there, you must have been hey. paid. So it doesn't matter what you do. Hey. You must have been paid. Oh, the, the, the excellencies uh, are they coming? Have they bought their? Have you bought your ticket? Uh, eh, so me, <laughs> me, I have to. No, 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 no. I'm just, the... I'm just kidding. Tomato Joss is coming. Tomato Joss is coming. Mm. She's gonna be there live mm. and direct. Mm-hmm. Okay, mm. and she might read your emails there. And there are some I prizes. I heard that there are some prizes that that you are giving out to people. Yeah, tickets, if they are nice tickets, enough. If they are nice they enough. They have to, you know. All right. You have to act so, accordingly. So for those in America, happy Thanksgiving. See you the next week. Right. All the best. All the best. Okay. Gabu gabu. So, so I'm gonna go dance in the rain now. Yeah, you know? dance. Yeah, that's that's it. That's how I'm you live. Be, it's raining outside, so let me just go dance. <sighs> that's what life is all about, right? Vivian Green. <laughs> ah, I try, I try, I try to make make this funny, but sometimes it doesn't work. Listen. Uh, she she doesn't come for a rehearsal. That's why. Doctor, don't put it on me. That's my fault. Ah, hey. Anyway. Welcome to Fosby Luxury Hotel. At Fosby Luxury Hotel, we offer excellent service. Our rooms have all the necessary facilities to make your stay comfortable and memorable. You will also have access to internet service, breakfast, 24-hour power supply, poor condition, free international calls, free time pumping service, and free car battery charge. So what are you waiting for? Quickly visit Fosby Luxury Hotel. We are located as number one, Adeli Ramba Michele, off Raja Rasaki Road, First Estate, Amuwo, Odofi, First Start, For more information or reservation, please call us on 080 or 080 You can also take advantage of our online ongoing promo at www.fossvhotel.com to make your reservation and payment for your favorite room, which attracts a discount rate. Please note, rooms are reserved based on first come, first serve. Fossvhotel experience the home of comfort. They come, they come.